And you guys actually I always appreciate it when you help us and let us know if you see something bad because that, that helps us a great deal. Um, I would say even in the local community be very careful because there are anti-bootleg vendors here like Gimme Anime who is staunchly, even though it's very hard to make a dollar on importing something that's already expensive, staunchly anti-bootleg and stands behind that no matter what. There are other vendors in the area who are not anti-bootleg mm -hmm. and in fact embrace them. So be careful even in the local uh, buying neighborhood. Yeah, in fact, I was uh, over, over in Salt Lake City where I am. There was a you know, store that opened up, you know, Tokyo, like Tokyo and anime. But, oh, cool. And I'm looking for some of their tiles and raising my eyebrows at these DVDs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. DVDs are actually talking about how to recognize some of this stuff since we have some ideas about why it's not good to have them around. Um, DVDs are getting harder and harder and harder to tell because they are working hardest on perfecting that technology because they have had DVDs that have stopped, been stopped because of print quality, because they have had DVDs be stopped because people realized that green burnable laser CDs maybe is not what this is supposed to be burned on. Um, every year they get better at it and it is getting harder and harder to tell with DVDs. If you are a big DVD aficionado, <laughs> what I would recommend doing is taking a very close look at what you have in your collection and when you get something that appears to be bad, compare the print quality, compare the mm -hmm. codes on the sides, mm -hmm. compare how they are packaged, compare the color of the disc on the back to help you understand whether you've got a new one. I'm going to go past you for a sec because the gentleman behind you. Perfect this. example, because I used to own some of the Hong Kong discs of Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. And then when mm -hmm. I bought the Region 2s, you just look at the vibrant colors on the Region 2 and just fade it out on the Hong yes. Kong discs. Yes. Well, as you said there, that's kind of a more obvious deal. Like, like I said, I had a friend, I had a guy guy's name, and he said, oh, I got the actual you know, Japanese versions of, uh, you know, Gundam Wing or Doug Gundam C. You're going to get full of both the cases. Yeah. I said, oh, you have a Reason Free and a Reason 2 DVD player? Huh? What are you talking about? Tell me you got a bootleg. Yeah. You will, know, it, will it play on your your Regions or you'll get half an episode equipment. and they'll cut to the next episode. Oh, yes, I love that. The wonderful thing about yeah. on DVDs, one of the big things that I want to do, because I have a little more time and I'm feeling better this year, is plan a panel for next year. And I want to call it The Drunken Pirate. Because I want to sit and watch all of the things that I've accidentally gotten that are bad bootleg DVDs and find examples of the most amazingly, flaringly terrible dialogue translation you ever saw in your life. I can definitely help with that. That would be I magnificent. I would love your help because I what I want to do is put them on screen with no preparation whatsoever yeah. and have members of the audience try to voice act to the subtitles. Come in, writer. <laughs> yes. Yes. Also, oh, I the original going on videos here? because nobody had the same name twice. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> one, yeah. one episode, they gave the characters the names from Inuasha. One was, God. <laughs> Anzu was Kagome, Mai was Kikyo. Oh, wow. And that, that is probably somebody that has been working many two hours too long on ripping things and turning them into trash. Um, but some of them are really, really funny when you get in and read them. But you have to suffer through an hour of really so just lame, horrible yeah. torture to get to the five incredibly funny sentences in the middle. Um, besides the skipping parts, um, you can ha have DVDs that will have bad burns. You can have DVDs that will... Um, glue on the bottom. Have glue on the bottom. That's a good one. Or the recorded from TV. Yes, recorded oh, from TV is, is very good. He is the DVD aficionado. Nice. <laughs> I can use your help. That's wonderful. One thing I've noticed when I go shopping for box sets is like I look for a Trigun one on eBay for so long and all I'm like, oh, it's a new thing pack, 26 episodes on three discs. Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of times you will see them. Now, the entertaining part of this, talking about changes in the industry, a lot of times you'll see, I got Cowboy Bebop all on one disc. Yes. Something's wrong. Right. Because <laughs> that's yeah. not enough to pay the guy that's supposed to be running the machine in the first place. Yeah, that's another deal. Is, as far as I know, in most cases, and I understand, most of these Japanese DVDs have only two episodes per per disc. Frequently. They go Frequently. back and forth on the industry yeah. standard. And, and there was a little more here in the United States. Uh, I say on one press, one thing I was one press, you know, the legit Funimation release of uh, Fruits Baskets, who amazingly crammed six or seven episodes 
plus bonus material. Oh, so you were thinking that those weren't good. The reason they well, did that is because they didn't think it would sell. Well, I can... Yeah. I, I will say from the side that I do love Funimation as a, a internal yeah. con worker. They are hugely supportive of all of our fans. They are very caring about the materials well, that they put out. I think just from doing get, getting Gideon and ADV stuff to re-release some uh, shows. Gideon yes. and ADV yes. announced that, or, Gideon, or ADV and Funimation announced that, uh, at Anime Expo that they are picking up Gideon titles, including some that were already... Yeah, I think that's exactly yeah, what he was talking about. Uh, Hellsane's coming out, uh, Black Lagoon is coming out. So you are getting oh, titles wow. that have been previously available. Historically, Kyo there's Kao been... Mao. A very back and forth about whether the industries themselves are really going to support the fandom. And I think Funimation is an example of a very ethical group that does their best with the materials well, that they have like in their hands. I also like they always yeah. try to carry over all the extra features from the Japanese discs. Yes, yes. And the funny thing is, that's part of the changes in the industry. Japanese discs have been putting out like two per uh, disc and selling mm -hmm. them at Japanese going rates, which may be $50 a disc in our, our funds. Yes. Yeah. Um, and up until recently have very rarely had extras on them. That's something that they got as an idea from the American industry when the economy started flagging in Japan. Um, we're looking at a very possible swing back to where there's going to be more episodes per disc on the actual legitimate releases and so forth, but there's still not going to be an entire series on one disc. <laughs> and there's a very good reason for that. But you never know with Blu-ray. Yeah. That's that, that another big change. <laughs>